The German concern Rheinmetall has presented a video demonstrating the latest smoothbore 130mm tank gun, which is sometimes seen as a response to the appearance of the Russian T-14 tank. Now the main battle tanks of the leading NATO countries, such as the M1 Abrams or Leclerc, use 120mm guns. At the time of the development of combat vehicles, such a caliber fully met the requirements of the time, but today experts are increasingly talking about the need for a fundamentally new gun. One of the reasons for this is the development in Russia and China of completely new tanks with extremely high protection. Earlier it became known that Rheinmetall is creating a new 130mm tank gun. Now the German concern has presented a demo video of its development. Experts expected that the gun would be installed on the Leopard 2 tank, but the British Challenger 2 was chosen as the base. It is obvious that the promising gun will be able to find its use on other combat vehicles, including a promising new generation tank, which is being jointly developed by France and Germany. It is expected to replace the Leclerc and Leopard 2 in the future. For the 130mm gun, Rheinmetall has created an automatic loader. Thus, the developers moved away from the classic Western scheme, in which the tankers manually load the gun. Recall that the automatic loader has been used on domestic tanks for many decades. The developers did not provide detailed information about the armor penetration of the new gun, as well as its other characteristics. Earlier, however, it became known that by increasing the caliber it would be possible to increase the firepower of tanks by about 50% in comparison with the existing Western models. The Germans are not the only ones who are working in this direction. Last year, French defense giant Nexter was testing a modified Leclerc main battle tank with a new 140mm gun. As reported at the time, the tank fired over 200 successful shots. Nexter said the new gun is 70% more efficient than NATO's existing 120mm tank guns. As for the United States, now they are betting not so much on increasing the firepower of tanks, as on increasing their survivability, including through the use of active protection systems. Recall that the U.S. Army recently received the first serial tanks M1A2 SEP V3 Abrams.